Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Reviews. So today is going to be a little bit of a different video. Bit of a mixed items, mixed bag of things. It's not going to be a particular shop or brand or topic or item. So basically today um, I plan to go and meet a lovely YouTuber that I've been friends with for quite a while now and she's quite local to me in the Birmingham area of you know I'm in the Wolverhampton area and we are both going to be making life changes where it means we're going to be living at completely different places I'm going to be going south and she's going to be going to Liverpool so we're kind of like completely at the different end of spectrum plans had changed we had planned to do something different and um, due to circumstances Zach is is very poorly at the minute I don't know what he's got he's got some kind of bug um, it's like the Nova virus he's vomiting he's got diarrhea he's not eating um, when Zach's off his food it usually means it's the RSV virus but he's not coughing it's not his throat he's quite aware that it's his stomach and he has said he's very pale at the minute he's he's gone up to bed he's been in bed all day that's when you know that Zach is poorly so what we planned to do changed so for that reason um i ended up making my own way to birmingham i'd been birmingham before so I, it wasn't as if i was a bit worried about it um Birmingham's quite a big place and I went out a different entrance and I ended up walking all the way around and I, I messaged and said I was at TK Maxx because that was the only place I knew where to stay and we met and we've had a, an amazing day and we've had quite a long day. My back is absolutely killing me but I'm going to get into bed after this and uh, watch some telly in bed with my goodies which we'll talk about after so guys we hit the first shop we hit was tk max obviously we both like buying halloween decor um again when i went to birmingham tk max the first time it was very disappointing going back a second time it was even more disappointing there was hardly anything there to be honest with you a lot of it was like home decor but not christmas related and not halloween related it was just a bit of like the unusual decor that you get in tk max so that was our first stop i don't think my tk max is all in here i think i've got it in various bags so i'm just going to roughly say where we've been and then you get an idea so tk max we went into the disney store we briefly went into the builder bear looking for the um, beetlejuice bear but we couldn't find it um we've hit so many shops today guys i i really couldn't off the top of my head remember everything but I know we went into B&M as well um, we couldn't find home bargains um, well, we went into the, the big HMV absolutely loved it in there didn't actually buy anything in there but um, I could have I could have dinted my, my bank balance going in there they had a big Yoda which is what I'm after um, but I haven't got my I didn't have my trolley with me and, and I, I don't know if I could manage everything that I had so if you're wondering who Angela is I will link her channel down below it's um she always change she keeps changing her her name it's spooky geek yeah, I've got that right answer spooky geek um I've always known her as Angela goth queen so yeah I will link it down below go and check out her channel she's very very laid back easy to get on with we got on great we had a laugh right so like i said i went to tk max first i don't think my all my tk max is in here i think my tk max is in here so i always carry this bag with me which is probably one of the the best bags that ben bought me from plundering productions and it has lasted so long it's not ripped it's not pulling and i put some weight in this bag and I, it's a cross but oh it is starting to rip actually but that's probably down to me and the weight i put in it but i can get my mother-in-law a few few stitches in the machine and that'll be good as rain but this bag it's been amazing i've had this bag for about two years now right we'll talk about this angela's going to be laughing while she's watching this we'll talk about this last because me and angela well tell you about that at the end so first things first um i wanted this because as you know i've done my kitchen in like a 
ghost and skull theme so when i seen this i was like oh yes oh yes that will go great in my little cafe latte corner that i've got going on so they wrapped it up with paper not a lot of paper but that kind of goes with the whole tk max wrapping they don't wrap their things very well right so i got this plate and this was i don't know because i can't read out the glasses 6.99 this is a solid plate you can call this a serving plate if you need to be calling it a serving plate um you could put your make your coffee and tea and your sugar on here to stop it getting all messy on your thing and then just wipe this down but i do actually have something coming from um grind store for that but i just know that this would look really really nice in my kitchen nevertheless so i had to have it i had to have it there were two of these angela didn't didn't buy one she did have a look at it but as she knows that i'm just skull mad so i had to have it it's very very heavy guys very very heavy but this would be nice even if you're having a little bit of dinner party you put your um, pineapple sticks on there and so forth or your little volivants or sausage rolls whatever you want to put it's nice and it's proper solid serving plate it does say who it's from it just says global designs and it says it's microwave and dishwasher safe which is good because i have both right i'm just going to put this down here guys i can't bend too much because i have really overdone it today i think most my tk max stuff is in here um i'm keeping all receipts because as you know at, at the end of october i'm going to do a tally up of how much i've spent in total on halloween for 2021 because i think i've gone a little bit loopy this year more than usual in fact i've probably gone loopier this year than anything and that may have something to do with the pandemic and being locked indoors for so long who knows i grabbed one of these um i did grab one of these originally in the bentley bridge store and i put it back while i thought about it don't do that guys don't th go and weigh and think about it because by the time you thought about it and you come back for it somebody swiped it so this time i wasn't going to let it happen and my husband's got a tendency of putting hot pans on top of the worktops and burning them yeah so we're not going to do that no especially when it's our own kitchen and it's we have to pay for that kitchen so i grabbed this skull metal trivet and i was happy that i've seen this um, I think Angela was after the, the spider web one. I don't think they'd have any more. This is literally the only trivet they had. It was three ninety nine, guys, and I'm happy to pay three ninety nine. It will go on my top. My kitchen's gonna look amazing when I finally move out of this. I was just gonna say shit all, but it's not shit all. It's a nice house, but when I move out of this house, you can censor that out if you need to. <laughs> um, and then I grabbed this because I threw Ben's out because it it had worn out and. He said, no, no, I need that. I need to keep it. And I said, I'll buy you a new one, one that matches the kitchen. And he went, I'll hold you to that. And then when he threw it away, I thought, oh, God, you know what? I might not be going to TK Maxx again. Yes, Rachel goes to TK Maxx. Why wouldn't she go to TK Maxx? So I got him one. So I'm um, out of the doghouse for throwing his spatula away. This one has a skull on it. Figure that. And a skull mould. So this was Ben's present, so I have to bring everybody something back. It might be a weird present, but I can't. I could not exactly carry six crates of beer home with me, so this will have to do. Sorry, husband. This was three ninety nine, guys. Like I said, it's a spatula. They had different spatulas. They had some that had a little spatula with it. They had one that had a wooden spoon and a, you know, your little whisker thing, which just were normal. So. I just preferred this because you get two skull things for the price of, of one, really, because it was more expensive to get the, the ones that had no skull on it and stuff. So, yeah, that was my next item. See, still a skull item. Oh, and this, this one, I'll tell you how much I spent. This one, we both grabbed. So, I know that my video won't be going up for a bit yet. Well you guys will have seen it by now but to me it's going to be a while before i edit it but we've seen this one and there was two angela grabbed one i grabbed one i was a little bit unsure if i wanted to keep it or not but upon smelling it and smelling it again i thought you know what it actually is quite nice and it still smells like it it just it, it says witch's brew guy but 
to me it smells like coffee like literally coffee and it says here witch's brew freshly brewed aroma this was 7.99 and you probably won't be able to see but i've got uh, the mocha salted caramel one there and i've got the um, cider apple one there now i've got this one if i manage to go into my tk max which I may do tomorrow because I'm going to nip into town tomorrow and go into one below again just see if they've got their pauldron dishes if I find the chocolate one of these I'm going to get it and then I've got the whole set happy days like I said that was $7.99 total price guys which don't normally do came to $22.96 and I thought that weren't too bad to say I've got the candle a trivet a spatula and a plate so that will go with the rest of my TK Max items. So that was it. I carried that across my body all day. Um, this bag needs washing, so I think I might put it in the wash because it's got my lipstick on it. My lipstick was smearing everywhere and right over here. And in the end, I put some lipstick on to, to wet it. And then it just ended up everywhere. So I wiped it off and wiped my hands on the bag. I know I'm not very hygienic, but I didn't have any tissues to hand. Right. Um, what next i have got a gift in here as well from angela so next we might as well do this this is actually this is actually for christmas i'm not i'm not allowed to keep this it's got to be put away but it's one of my many things now my mum lives in ireland and my stepdad so they don't have such things as disney shop so my mum asked what i wanted for christmas any ideas i told her i want the money because everything all the money that i get for christmas is going towards a torso a skull torso like a rib cage torso lamp that i seen um now i'm torn because that's 200 pound and the jack skeleton lamp is 200 pound whichever one i decide to buy for christmas will be decided on that time or that day but the money is gonna either go to one or the other i will not be getting both because that's ridiculous 400 pound for two lamps but i'll pick which lamp i have and whichever goes with my decor in my new house but i wanted sally because i have jack and i don't have sally um they had the whole set was there the whole shebang well the the, the other the i don't think the mayor or anything was there the mayor wasn't there but they had the wolf the snake sally jack um ooga boogie was there i was gonna get oogie boogie but i prefer the um builder bear one and i don't know if that's gonna come out again this year if it is i will get it from builder bear um but i did want to get sally from builder bear so i'm torn whether i'm gonna get sally or oogie so we'll decide when i see it but this was bought by my mum and stepdad for christmas so i'm gonna put this away um and she was 21 pound guys she was the only thing I bought in the Disney shop. I was tempted to buy a few other things in there. Um, like I wanted to get the pumpkin um, jack and they had something else. Now my granddaughter is obsessed with jack skeleton as well. Um, and I'm thinking about it. I should have picked up a jack and put it away. But I know my daughter's going to pick her up some stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if I'd, I'm just going to get her a jack doll for Christmas and something else that I was going to get her. But yeah, I got Sally and I'm happy I've got Sally. Her hair is a bit strange, I, I will admit, um, how they've done it. It's just like, she's got a towel on her head kind of thing. And this is not her hair, it looks kind of weird. But I wanted her and that was the main thing. She doesn't do anything, she's just literally a Sally doll. But as a tight scope, oh yeah, she's just a Sally doll. So I'm just happy I got it. I don't think it's worth 21 quid. I probably would have been happy paying 9 99 for something like this. If they were 9 99 I would have got a jack as well. I probably would have saved the jack for my granddaughter and put it away for Christmas. But yeah, i got a Sally doll. I love it. So thank you, Mom. Thank you, Stepdad. I'll put that away. I'll put it down here for now. So that was the Disney shop, which shows me my receipt, which was £21. Right, moving on, 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 on. On, 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 on. B and M's. Right, B and M's. I picked up this, which was a pound, and I thought it was really good for a pound. And it's the Pure Well Antibacteria Hand Gel, uh, seventy-five percent alcohol, quick drying, and it's got aloe vera in it. And this was a pound. 
I pay a pound for like hand washes by all means, but I just thought this one's probably a lot better than most because it's it's like an antibacteria kind of wash your hands COVID situation. So I grabbed that for a pound, which yeah, a bit boring, I know, but why you in B&M, you just grab what you grab. Now I did treat Zach, Zach and like I said, Zach's poorly, but I did grab him a couple of things. Me and Angela grabbed one of these. Now, which is kind of weird, we'll tell a quick story about this. Yeah, it, it's Yoda, you can, it's Grogu. Yoda, Grogu, baby, the child, whatever you want to call it, Grogu. Grogu, yep. Yeah. Um, so we seen this first in B&M. B&M and they had lots of gaming things there. Xbox, PlayStation, Mandalorian, um, Harry Potter, lots of stuff like that. Um, what they call licensed merch and whatever yeah. so we bought this and it was four pound guys it's not like massive as a cup but it's a fair size i mean it goes all the way into the ears as well so yeah i probably wouldn't use this as a cup guys like i'd probably use it to either put something inside or a succulent inside um i don't know i haven't decided yet but i just had to have it it was four kid it's cute and i love i love grogu um, but then when we went into um, HMV, we saw the, what we called the, the real licensed one. Um, and it didn't look the same. It was totally different. And there was no handle at the back. It was just the ear. So obviously you would have had to hold on to the ear to drink. Um, and that, I think, was either 9 99 or 14 99 I can't quite remember. But this was £4 for being in. And it has the license certificate from Disney on there. So obviously Disney must give permission to let that on there. Right, moving on to, I'll do Zach's last because I've got something else from Zach. So I'll do Zach's last, which is B&M. I'll move on to this because my bag snapped and I just threw this in here, guys, because of that. Another bag I got from a cult box, I think, guys. One year, I think. Now my bag snapped for this one, guys. So, oh God which I'm quite happy about. Oh, I've got some more stuff in there. Oh, I've got my B&M, my B&M, um, oh no, I haven't, that's not B&M, that's letting you know where else I went. So obviously, I went into Primark after I went in b and I think it was. I didn't get a lot from um, Primark. It was a massive Primark, guys. It was a little bit too big for my liking and you know me and Angela were getting knackered just walking around Primark up and down up and down trying to find toilets and everything but in Primark as soon as I went in I I thought about Zach I used to do this when I used to go shopping and I used to go and buy things for my other kids when you know when they were small and at home and if I went out shopping um but obviously I've only got Zach as a baby at home and he was desperate for dramas he lives in Jarmus quite a lot because he doesn't go to school, he's homeschooled. Sometimes with Zach, he just doesn't want to get dressed, it's part of his autism. So I just know that these are going to cheer him up. So these are Minecraft Jarmus. They are very, very soft. Now these are not the fleece, these are more of the velour. So they're like a velvet material, but not too thick and not too thin. He's going to appreciate these a lot. Now, you might not believe this, but Zach is age eight. He's nine this year. This is age 14 to 15 years. That's how big Zach is. These were £11, guys. I think they're going to be worth £11. Um, I was going to say I'd take them out and let you have a quick look. So, it looks massive, but that will be perfect on Zach. Perfect fit. He's going to absolutely love these. He will absolutely love these. So, I got him them. For £11, so that was his little treat. Let's just go back to B&M. And I picked him up one of these. Now, in my last video, I picked him up a Minecraft cup that I got from um, Clinton's. <sighs> when I went into B&M, <laughs> they had his cup for £5. So, yeah, I could have saved myself one of the five or a bag getting it, but never mind. They had the red cup, which I might get and put away for him, so he's got the collection of cups. But as soon as I seen this, I thought, oh, these will love this. 
he will absolutely love it. He likes more like a straw sippy cup rather than the flip up sippy cup. Um, and he will drink out of this without a straw as well, just as a plastic cup. But yeah, he's gonna absolutely love this. He will love it. This was four pound, guys. Four quid. If you go into Disney or the the merch store where they do Creeper and Minecraft, you probably find out this is probably more expensive than four quid. But I got him that to match his Jimmy's, so I know that I keep him happy. Usually I buy Zach a lot of treat stuff, but because Zach's not very well, I didn't I didn't really want to do that. So I've got my receipt for being him. Didn't really want to do that while he's poorly. Right, put that there. So. Zach is a gamer. Yes, he is. We're buying him a, a computer chair and I think we're going to buy him the new tower, PC tower that changes colours and stuff like the gamers have. We're going to get him that as well and probably a, a new graphics card and a few games and stuff for Christmas. So this is Keep Hope Gaming in Progress. We'll put on his door. He will appreciate that. He loves Creeper. If I said to Zach, what tattoo do you want? He'll say Creeper tattoo. Uncle Steve do me a creeper tattoo. <laughs> so that was Zach's guys. So this was £2.50 by the way. And the cup was four quid. So it wasn't that expensive. So my b and um, I do have more stuff I think. Did I have more stuff than that? Let me just have a look. So door hanger, sippy cup. Yeah, so door hanger two fifty, sippy cup £4. Mandalorian mug £4. And that hand wash a pound. Total £1.50. So yeah, I was happy with that, very happy. Now, back to Primark. So I got his, his jammers in Primark and then I found these in Primark. Straight away I went straight to them because I love this velour. It's not fleece, it's it's just like, I've got um, Harry Potter jammers that are in this material that my dad got me for Christmas one year and I love them in the winter. I don't wear them in the summertime, I wear them in the winter. Now we're moving into autumn, I will start putting my night dresses away because it's gonna get too cold for night dresses and start slowly introducing my jammers back. And I've just bought some new jammers for Halloween. So these are lounge wear, but oh, can't wait. Like, let's pull them out and have a look. So I did pick them up and they're all like this and Angela went, but no, no, she wouldn't get a pair that's folded properly instead of being thrown about everywhere. Right, I was, I've just separated them. So I got a size 14 to 16, which would be big enough for me. I'm not gonna make the mistake of getting 16 to 18 because it just absolutely drowns me. So they're a nice lilac color and oh God, these, oh, so soft. It says on the front, happiness. And then it says noun, a positive feeling of pleasure, well-being and contentment. Happiness can be found in the simplest of things in life, such as a warm cup of tea, spending time with friends or listening to your favourite song. I live by that saying. I've really enjoyed today, to be honest with you guys. It's been a lovely day. Um, I've enjoyed grabbing the things that I've got. I've enjoyed coming home and having my chippy tea. I've enjoyed, I will enjoy now going and getting my night dress on and get my sweets, which I'll talk about at the end, and just lie down and chill out and relax. Cause I, I think I'm gonna be in a lot of pain tomorrow. Um, but you know what? I don't care, it was worth it. It was worth it, really was worth it. I got to see so much of Birmingham. I, the fact that Angela comes from Birmingham, she knew where she was going and I was just following where she was going and. I just got to see shops that I, I haven't seen before. Now these have got a um, like a cuff, like a tracksuit kind of thing, and then elasticated um, waistband. I can't wait to put these on, guys. And as much as I want to put them on tonight, I am not because I'm going to save these for tomorrow night because I'm going to have a pump tonight. We'll discuss that at the end. <laughs> so that was that. So. Um, Let's move on to, well, we'll do this last, we'll move on to the next one, which is savers. And I've grabbed a few things in savers. If I've missed out something, I will just add it in. So in savers, I got this Redox, cause God damn, I'm gonna treat myself to a good relax. I'm gonna be in pain tomorrow, guys, but it's gonna be worth it. And I am gonna nip out tomorrow and grab a few things. And then next week, I am having a whole week of rest because I've got to go and see my dad soon. So 
I really need to get myself ready for that and so forth. So this says feel relaxed. It's just a pamper mineral redox with lavender and water lily. I love anything with lavender in it. It makes me nice relaxed. This was 89p. Like literally cheap as chips. And then I... Right, so it says sleek aromatherapy bath salts. Calm your mind with bath salts blended with scents of lavan lavender and ylang ylang. With dream scent seek fragrance that improves sleep quality. Now all three of us love bath salts. Zach loves lavender sleep bath salts. I love lavender bath salts. Ben doesn't like lavender. He just likes plain magnesium flakes because uh, he's got psoriasis oh what's that other one he likes he likes the eucalyptus one well this was cheap i haven't got the receipt i don't think for that one that might be oh i might have i might have yep savers yep um so that bag is quite a heavy bag um and that radox salts was £2.39 i thought that was quite reasonable for what it was then um, I hived and hoved and oohed and uh, I wanted a conditioner because um, I'm pretty much out of my expensive conditioner. I've enjoyed using it. My hair quality was a lot better using that. I can't justify paying £25 for shampoo and conditioner. That doesn't last that long. But I am a palmer, so I thought I'll enjoy the palmers. I love palmers. I love the hand cream. I love the body cream. The body cream's brilliant for when you've had a tattoo, like the the like the waxy one. So I got the palmers coconut oil repairing conditioner for dry, damaged, and colour treated hair. Like I said, just a few things that I needed, and this was one of them. And this was. Where's the price of this one? Palmer's, 2 .99. They did have the leave-in conditioner spray, but I tried that before and I liked it, but I'm I've am i got a spray that I'm using at the minute. So that was that, guys. This is all to go towards my pamper, I'll have you know. I think that was it, was it? Yeah, I think that might have been it. Yeah, that was it. So, Palmer Redox, yeah, and it came to £6.76, guys, just for them few things, but... I was happy with that. Primark came to, what did Primark come to? That, that's Primark, yeah, um, 21 pound. So I have spent a little bit today, but I have a lot to show for what I got. Right, I went into the pound shop as well, guys, and I quickly grabbed just, just these few things, that's all, because this is, this is coming to the end now. So I got some biscotti, like individual biscuits, because in my latte sta station and i only have the oreos but they're all gone so i'm going to put these in place in my massive jack skull cup so if anybody wants to make a coffee or a tea or a latte or a mocha or a hot chocolate and a biscuit it's there and i kind of like the way my little coffee area goes so there you go a pound can't beat it and then i just bought these bulbs guys two led ultra bright um, and I don't know if I've got the right bulbs. If not, I'll take them back and ask to change them. These are for my lava lamp that's died on me. And I, I know it's something like these that you have. So that's all I got in the pound shop, guys. I didn't wait. I didn't spend too much time. There was a guy, there was a man just staring. Like he kept walking up and down, and it was like he wanted to rob us or something. Or I don't know. I just felt very uncomfortable with him round. Um, so I said to I said to Angela, let's go. And we got out of there. Right. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Angela is naughty. So she's bought she bought some treats for Zach. Oh no, did I buy them? Oh, where did I buy them? I bought these as well in the pound shop. Yeah, Whisper Gold with Carol inside it. I forgot I bought them. Bought them for Zach as, as a part of his treat. In fact, I'll put them there so he knows that they're his treats. Uh, and Angela actually bought him some Mm, he'll love this because he likes Dime Bar. Um, Dime Bar Dairy Milk. We've not tried that yet. Um, a Malteser one. I know he likes this, so he'll be happy. Because his tummy's upset, he's refusing to eat anything, guys. He didn't eat his battered sausage or battered chips tonight, and that's how you know 
he is poorly. So we've put some in the fridge in case he eats them tomorrow. But thank you for that, Angela. I'll put that with his goodies. He's a spoilt little boy. And she gave me a couple of vouchers, which I'm happy about because I'm going to need them. A video will be coming soon, possibly. Right, she's naughty. Oh, there's another Malteser bar. Naughty girl. Right, so... Originally, what triggered me and Angela meeting, because we were going to meet, but we always like to say, yeah, hey, we'll meet up, we'll meet up, and we never did it. Now, I Angela messaged me and asked if I wanted her to pick up the um, M&S Haunted Biscuit Barrel House, and I was like, oh, God, yeah, because I don't think mine will have it, and mine didn't have it, because I did go and check. Even though I knew I had this, I still went and checked it, and they didn't, so I was very grateful to Angela but she wouldn't take any money off me. She said, this is your gift. And I knew she was going to do that. So I grabbed her a couple of things. And I put hers in a bag as well. Including a Christmas hat. A goth Christmas hat. So we can be twins. Um, so she did actually pick it up for me. So I am absolutely over the moon. Because I wouldn't have got one of these. And as you know, I'm obsessed with the whole haunted house thing at the minute. So I was happy. So she picked me up. The Tin Marks and Spencer's Ghost House. I am chuffed about this. So the shortbread biscuits inside, all butter biscuit, light up house. <gasps> There's the tag on it. Oh, I can't wait. Um, I don't want to, I don't really want to, let me have a look. I don't know if we've got to put batteries in it first, you know, guys. Oh, well that, that just pinged off. Oh my god, it all it is, it's all lit up inside, I can see it. Oh my god. So obviously with the biscuits in you're not gonna be able to see it at the minute, but it does light up and I think that silhouettes up across the windows. <gasps> I seen the Christmas one that they do, which is very similar to this, but not as spooky. I love this. I absolutely love it. I don't know how you get your biscuits out of it though. I'll have to figure that out. Um Unless it's like a... Oh, yeah. So you pull it out here and the biscuits come out this way. I think she's at her biscuits and she said they were really delicious. So thank you, Angela, so, so much. I'm so happy I've got this. Yeah, I couldn't wait to get home and have a look at this. Um, <laughs> she's just messaged. Uh, absolutely love it. So And I think you can hang it up as well, guys. So that's pretty neat as well. So you could hang it up off the ceiling. So it'd be like a lantern light and you could possibly put some things inside this as well. Like for me, you could put some potpourri in there and it smell nice and have the light in there. Mm. The possibilities of what you can do with this is endless. So thank you so much for that, Angela. Really appreciate it. And she's naughty. She's so naughty. I like this bag that she put it in. Uh, might put that stuff in there. Right, so that was my... We kept, I kept swapping bags, guys, so it was very confusing. And she's put me in. Now, this is so funny, right? And I'm not going to say anything because she'll do her video and you'll see. Now, I put her one of these in, in a character that's probably not really my thing, more her thing. And she's put me in a Sally. Yes. Which is more my thing. And what she's got is more, is more her thing. So I don't know if she's ever had what i've got her before but i love bubba's melties guys if you've never checked out bubba's melties you must do bubba's melties i will link her up in the eye if you want to go and check out any of the videos she's also on um youtube herself so i will link her channel down below as well but go and check out her shop i oh sally smells good enough to eat but look at it guys look Nicole is very, very clever. She's very, very clever on how she does. I'm actually getting a Sally tattoo done next and I can't wait to go next to my Jack. I'm also booked in front of the tattoo at home, um, but my brother's doing my Sally tattoo for my birthday, like just my birthday gone. So yeah, I'll finally have Jack and Sally on. I'm not like, I love the film. I absolutely love the film, but I'm not, I don't want all the characters on my arm. It's not what I want. I just want to stick to the characters I like. Um, I do want um, Victor and Emily on me. At some point, they might be going on my calf somewhere. 
because um, my arms are getting pretty full and I don't know where they go underneath here just yet. I'm not brave enough. So thank you so much, Angela. So I've got my Sally and I've got my biscuit barrel. I am absolutely happy with that and I will enjoy that. And I'll probably share that chocolate with Zach. Oh, is there somewhere else in here? Oh yeah, yeah, somewhere else. So, and we got more and we got more. Now, as we were walking down, because we were looking for, she was trying to find me a shop because I wanted some prawn cocktail crisp. Yeah, because I'm obsessed with prawn cocktail crisp at the minute. It's like, that's my thing at the minute. I keep going through these stupid, like, needs of wanting certain things. Cheers. So as we walked past, she said, oh, there's a Lush shop there. And I went, oh, I've never been in Lush. I've never bought anything from Lush. I used to watch a lot of channels that had Lush. Charmed went, she used to do a lot of Lush on her channel. I'm sure she did a lot of Lush on her channel. And I can't think who else. Somebody else has done it. I don't know if Belinda Chapman has done Lush on her channel before. But I've never tried Lush. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Um, I always compare, like, thought it was a little bit like, the body shop but obviously Rachel it's nothing like the body shop so we went in there and straight away I was like oh my god oh my god I want that I want that I want that I want that I want it all but you know I could have had I could have got the box that I wanted they had one that had a bag a bat bag and that was 32 pound I could have had that but I wanted to have some money left to come home with that so I could go and grab things I want from Wolverhampton. So I was trying to save a bit, trying to save a bit of money. Just remember that. And when we get the end of the video, <laughs> you'll you'll laugh your socks off. So I didn't grab Lodge from Lush because in the back of my head I thought, no, I'll try Lush first. I've never tried Lush before. So let me try it first. Um there was a lovely lady in there and she 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 was come complimenting my bloody boots everybody likes them school boots um which actually snapped today yes yes the chain snapped we fixed it we fixed it but i'm not too not too happy about it i may have to contact them order about it but yeah that's another another video so so we went into lush and this lovely lady you know they do what they have to do that's their job they have to get people to buy things and you know customer sales and all that you know i used to work in retail so i know how it all goes and obviously because we were alternative and she was alternative they like alternative people coming into lush because we like to spend our money <laughs> um but obviously because i never tried it before i just wanted to try a few things first if i like it i'll go online i'll order a shitload of it and then happy days so they go in these bags which is brilliant i mean it's like having a little sweetie thing now the lady recommended this one because i didn't know if i wanted the pumpkin the alien or the ghost which i was quite drawn to the ghost one for the wrong reasons you know rachel you've got to put it in the bath you can't keep it so she said you've probably been more happy with this angela Excuse me, Angela grabbed some stuff as well and you will see on her channel what she grabbed. Mmm. It's full of glitter, guys, so we're going to get a bit glittery here, but it's all right because I'm going to throw my clothes in the wash. Um, so it's a bat. A very nice smelling bat. Now, the lady said when you put this in, it'll come through black, purple. Um, I can't remember if she said a dark blue or a dark green colour will come through it. She said it's lovely. And then it leaves you with a nice frothy black bath. Well, that sounds like heaven to me anyway. So I was like, get that in my bag. <laughs> I made my mind up. It's quite a big one, guys. These are £4.50. And I thought £4.50, that's quite reasonable. As you know, I normally get my bath bombs from Majestic. So I will be going to Majestic closer to Halloween because I always get... A spooky box from Majestic. I haven't seen them advertise or put anything up on the page yet, so I hope that they're doing all right. I'll, I'll have to check if they're all okay there and they're still trading, because I know that COVID has suffered a lot of businesses. So yeah, I got that one. Like I said, was four pound fifty. Let's put that down there. And then Angela recommended this one, and I'll take her word for it and the lady was very good to sell it as well so yeah i had to have one ah it smells amazing and it's a ghosty so this is a glow in the dark ghost soap 
it smells good enough to eat it's got a very a very sweet citrus that's how amanda described it as being citrus it is very citrusy fresh scent a scent that i feel really relaxed that was five pound that i do know that was five pound so yeah, 450 and five pound. Again, it's nine pound fifty altogether. She's not bad. It's not bad. The box that I wanted was sixteen pound, and that had the the ghost, the bat, and the pumpkin in. But when I tallied it up, it seemed cheaper to buy them separately anyway. So yeah, I just did that. I don't need there was a face cloth in there as well, which made it up. And she did me a sample for Zach as well because I told her like Zach's got funny skin, so she did me a little sample of this um body lotion that's great for for people that have got psoriasis bad bad skin or allergies and stuff so thank you i didn't get your name but you know i'm happy that i got this for little zach to try when he has his little bath um zach loves bath bombs as you know so i probably will have to order some bath bombs for zach for either Halloween and Christmas. I normally get them on for Halloween and for Christmas. Um, but they also had some sleep body lotion as well. So I really should have got a, a little trial of that and seen if it works. But I will order it online and give it a go and get the little tub and see if it works. I was going to actually buy it to be honest with you. So that's Zach's little treats out of the way. Right, before I wrap this up, guys. So... That's my vouchers off, off Angela for that. So, <laughs> Angela went down to a stall at the bottom and I should have I should have just done what Angela did. And she grabbed um, like the licorice, long, thick, like the licorice sticks. My daughter goes mad for them, Leah, she goes mad for them. And she had sour ones, bitter ones, plain ones, strawberry ones. And it was six for five pound and they were like this long. And I thought, well, that's definitely worth the money. And I didn't think, I just thought, now I've got, I've got pick and mix upstairs. <laughs> She's going to kill me. I, I mean, this was my fault. I take fully, I take the blame for this. Um, and then she got some like mixed nuts and stuff like that. And what she paid there was less than what we paid when we went upstairs. So we went up, I went to the pick and mix. It is actually quite, <laughs> it's quite heavy. But not that heavy anyway angela was said oh i'll have some pick and mix then if you're having some so she put her pick and mix in and she went first and put them on the scale right and then i didn't quite hear her much as well but when i come round and she was she looked very like shocked and i said angela i'll get that for you and she went no you won't no you won't i said it's all right and she went trust me no you won't and i was like how much was it <laughs> she said 16 pound i went what what do you mean 16 pound 16 pound well my heart dropped because i thought this would be about four pound fifty or something because when we used to do pick and mix and woolworths it, it never used to come to that kind of money jesus christ has the price of sweets gone up that much and yeah it's been a long time since woolworths have been open but i was scared to put mine on and i went oh my god mine seems heavier than yours anyway mine came to 10 pound four so £26 for two bags of sweets, guys. I mean, I got some teeth for Zach as a laugh. I mean, that's quite heavy. I think that was five five friggin' pound on its own. So yeah, yeah. Um sorry Angela, it was my fault. I'll take full it, full it blame on that one. So we went into the expensive blooming shop and you know we were saying how much the sweets are ridiculous in there when you can go and be an m and get pick and mix for 3.99 i put that pick and mix down because it had marshmallows in it i actually wish i picked two of them up because the amount still wouldn't amount to so much of this bag and i would have had more sweets with them two compared to this one so that rounded our, our um thing off and it was like right i think we've spent enough now don't you let's go home <laughs> we did actually go into greg's as well and had a latte and something to eat and sat down and had a chat it was lovely i've enjoyed my time with angela today and before we we go our separate ways in like not mean we're never going to meet up again we definitely will but the fact that i'm going to be going south and she's going this way we will be going further away than what we are now at least now we know we can just 
I can just get on a 15 minute train and meet up with her. Um, until we roll moves, then we can do that anyway. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this really long video. I've enjoyed it. Stay to the end. I'll stick a few pickies on of our time. Um, yeah, had all the time. Thank you for my gifts, Angela. And um, I'm not going to tell you how much I spent for the day because I spent enough. Cheers. subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel take care guys and i'll see you on my next one bye for now